Hello and welcome to the AFL Auto Blends 3D Car Creation Channel. This is the next um, in texturing, next episode in texturing the Mercedes G Wagon, um, and hopefully we'll get it done in, get it finished in this session. Um, before we get into that, um, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and um, hit the like button. Um, it helps with. Um, what I'm trying to do and uh, teach people how to um, to model in Blender. Anyway, let's get started. Um, so this, um, we'll call this a plastic, <coughs> excuse me, a plastic black. Um, so on my list, go to plastic black with a um, with a roughness of 0.2. We'll go into there so that's that one so um, let's hide that um, this is also a, a plastic with a roughness 2 um, so plastic roughness point 2 hide that this one also Plastic roughness. I think I've, I've put metal O2 on that because that's the actual radiator. So we'll call that metal black roughness O2 and hide that. These pieces here, um, so this piece here, that's a plastic roughness 2. Hide that. Um, and this as well. Plastic roughness to hide that, and then these pieces, all of these pieces are so just go through and put these pieces in. So plastic roughness to point two, hide, and finally this. So plastic roughness to hide. So what have we got next? I'm going to leave the um, number plate and the bracket till last. So we've got a few with plastic black. Um, so what I'm going to do is, is get that one, um, select, so shift and select that one. Okay, shift and select that one, shift and select that one. Um, and put that as plastic roughness point two, and then control and L to select that. Hopefully that's selected them all. Let's have a look. No. So control and L. No, it doesn't work. So, so that's plastic. Hang on, let's have a look at this. So hide that one. This one, plastic roughness, point two. Hide this one. Plastic roughness, point two. Hide. This one as well, plastic roughness to and hide. So what have we got left? This one here, that's a uh, plastic roughness two. And hide that one. So this piece here, um, Going to go. You can go with whatever you like because there's different um, different things. But what I'm going to do is um, give it a metallic chrome with a roughness of 0.1. Okay, so that's that, and hide it. 
So we move on to the wheels, and I think I'm going to give this a. I mean, you can give this what you like um, in terms of finish. You could have a glossy black, or you could have uh, a chrome, or you could have a dark chrome, or anything you want really. Um, but I'm going to go with metal chrome with a roughness of 0 0.001. So we'll go with that and we'll hide that. So obviously, obviously the same for this. I'll go for chrome, metal chrome with a roughness of 0.1 and hide that. Um, now, let's see what we are now. That This is the same. So metal chrome, I might split the base from this actually, we'll see, um, so let's have a look, metal chrome, with a roughness of point 0.1 and hide that. This here, oh, this is the piece I was talking about, um, I'm going to see if I've got an aluminium for this, don't think I have. No, I haven't. So I'm going to go into Blender Kit. So I'm going to log into this. Um, go into the materials. So click on this um, icon here. This one here. I'm going to type in aluminium. Aluminium. So we've got aluminium scratch, we don't want that, aluminium sand, brushed aluminium, used aluminium. Uh, I think we'll go for brushed aluminium, which is this. So I'll click on that. So that's um, unpacking the file. Let's see what it gives us. I think that's a bit too... needs to be a bit more polished than that. That scratches, we don't want scratches. On this, brush metal. Die cast aluminium. Worn aluminium. See what else we've got. What's this one? Brushed. Brushed. Let's try this one. This is all about sort of trying different things. See where we are with it. Again, that's a little bit too. Uh, wait a minute. So let's wait for it a second. See what we've got. Unfortunately, it takes its time. That's brushed as well, yeah. I'm not overly happy with that. Um, let's see if there's a polished aluminium anywhere. Scuffed, no. Brushed, no. There's lots of brushed aluminium. Um, I might change my thoughts on that. Uh, put metal, metal, and look for polished. What have we got here? Let's search for that. The metal plates. Here we go. So metal. Metal plate, 
See what we've got. Mm. Not overly happy with any of these. Burnt metal. Burnt metal pen. There's so many. There's so many. Um, so many things you can use. Rough metal. Scratched. We need something that's a bit. No, I'm not, um, not overly happy. Let's have a look at polished. Polished. <coughs> polished brass? No, definitely not. Brushed metal, no, we've had brushed. Okay, I'm not going to look anymore. Um, so I'll delete that one. Um, I'm going to use. Um, what am I going to use? Let's see what we've got. Metal chrome, metal dark. Metal black. I'm just going to use this one. Okay, so we've got that one, so hide that. Hide that. Um, what have we got? Look back here. Um, so we've got the same here. Got metal chrome. Roughness of 0.1, hide. And then that piece there, metal chrome. Roughness of point one, hide. There's a H to hide it. Um, the bolts, the same. Metal chrome. Roughness of point one, and hide. H to hide it. So what have we got here? Let's have a look. Let's put it. Put this up here. So we've got the wheel hub. And the brake disc. So brake disc, I've got a. So hang on, let's have a look at this. With calipers, I'm going for car paint. <coughs> um, so calipers. And for the car paint and I might change that colour um, the car paint so hide both of those hide that these are brake pads so I'll give that a brake disc hide that now into this now so the actual hub um, let's go into vertex select mode to see what this is all about what I might do is select this and press control and plus and keep pressing it let's zoom in So press the period key to get closer. So press control plus. A few more times. And we'll add in a material. And we'll add in a brake hub.
press Ctrl and I to select the rest, add another one in, actually I need to assign that, so add another one in um, called break disk and assign, assign, so go Let's select that, so, so that's what we've got selected for that, and let's choose that, see what we've got selected for this, that, that's correct, okay. So let's have a look what that looks like. Hmm. So I'm okay with that, with the brake disc and the brake hub. Yeah, no, that looks fine. That looks fine to hide that. So we'll move back to the front and do exactly the same. Same on here. So this one is car paint. Hide it. Um, this one. Is car paint and hide that. This one is brake brake disc and hide that. This one ah here we got metal chrome metal chrome roughness of point one hide it. This one tap into it scroll up um, Press one of them, press press the that's it, press the um, period key and you'll get closer to it. So um, let's press what's my mouse gone? Right, let's get up to this and so I can see things easier. Right, alt and then press control and plus and see all the way along and select all of these up to there um, add in material look for break hub and press assign okay press control i which is the rest of it add in another material called break disc and press assign Press the sign. So let's have a look what that looks like. Excellent. Yeah, so we've got those. So press H to hide that. Okay, what's next? I think um, we didn't do the, the bumper lights, I don't think. <clears throat> From memory, I think we left those. So Let's do that. I think that's a red, a red um, glass. I think so. Glass red. Um, but let's check. Let's move these across. Move this one across. And get hold of it. Um, let's have a look at a few images. I don't think I think I've looked at these before and couldn't really see anything to note. Let's have a look. It's hard to see, isn't it? Um, but I think that's a red. I think that's a red glass. So we'll hide that. Um, these this part is a plastic black R2 apart from the middle pieces so let's tab into this tab into edit mode so tab into edit mode um, 
And let's have a look at this. Right. So if I choose a vertex, press the period key to get close in. And let's see where we are. Right, so these bumps are a different material. So go down and select all of these bumps by pressing L. All the way down, press this one. I'm going to give that a plastic white. Um, so where are we? Plastic. Plastic R2, plastic R5. So it's what I think I called it white, white plastic. Okay, so we've got that. Um, now we press Control and I. And then we add another material in um, called plastic black with a roughness of 0.2. So plastic black that, with a roughness of 02 and a sign. So tab into object mode. Let's have a look at how these, these look. Yeah, that's good. So press H to hide that. Okay. So what's next? So the next part is the chassis. So what I'm going to do is a, a metallic black with a roughness of 0.2. So let's have a look at that, see how that looks. That's metallic chrome, so let's get rid of that. Uh, metallic black, metal black, roughness of 0.2. <coughs> so let's have a look. Yep, that's fine, so I'll hide that. I think I want to change that to 0.03, so I'm going to, sorry, 0.3 roughness so what I'm going to do is copy this um, and then edit it and call it rough point three or point oh three so we're in same as before and just scroll down and where's the roughness Roughness, just change that to 0.3. Okay, I'm sure that'll be okay. Uh, so, so these pieces I think will be the same material. So it'll be a metal black with the roughness of point. That one, point 0.3. So hide those. Um, what else have we got? These will be the same. Metal black. Point three. Okay, so hide those. So this one, these are the same. So metal and hide those. So what the next one I'll do, choose is the spring. Now we want two um, uh, materials on this. So I'm going to add two in. So we want the um, metallic black uh, metallic black zero zero two zero two that one and then we want to add another one in um, and we want to change So we'll call this one 
we'll bring in the chrome, but we won't use the chrome. Um, metallic chrome. But we'll call it um, metallic silver. So call it silver. Now what do we want to change here? We want to change the roughness to 0.4 and change this one, the NS anisotropic, put that up to a full one. Okay. So what we need to do is to go into edit mode. So I've put tab to go into edit mode. And let's have a look at this. Um, this bottom bit here, so press L there. Um, go to our materials. Got that highlighted, so press assign. Um, this bit here, um, assign. Let's have a look here. This bit here, press L. And hover over that to select that and assign that and the top piece and assign that. Let's have a look now. I think we need this bit here as well. So press L there and assign it. Okay, so let's tab out of that. Um, there we go. Okay, so now we've done that, hide it. And at this point, I'm going to save the file to make sure I don't lose anything. Okay, so there we are with that. Now I've got to do the break disks and everything on this side. Got to vote those. Um, okay. So next we um, have a look here at these objects. Um, I think that would be a metallic silver. So if we go down to metallic silver. Okay, now this one, this one above it will be the same. So if we select that first and then that, and then press Control L, uh, it doesn't, it doesn't work. Or does it link materials? It does work, right? Okay, so Control L works. Okay, so. Um, we'll hide that and we'll hide that. So we'll choose this object now, the front axle. Um, I think we're going to have three in this one. So we're going to have metallic black with a roughness of 0.2. So metallic and black <coughs> roughness 0.2. So this one. Then we're going to add another one in, and that will be the metallic silver. So metallic silver. And then the last one will be a plastic black. So add another one. So press the plus there. Add in a plastic black, but we'll use the um, 0.5. So I've got it. So plastic black, where are we? This with a roughness of 0.5. So press tab and get into edit mode. Um, okay, so let's look into this. So let's zoom in. So if you hover, hover over this and press L, so that will be metallic silver. So go in there and assign mouse is playing with it right okay so that's that one and then hover over this and press L what else let's have a look oh and that piece there and give that the plastic black and assign that okay so let's have a look tab into edit mode again
I'll tap into edit mode, press L. That should be the plastic, not metallic, so plastic assign. And this one is also, so press L over that, and it's the plastic, not the metal. Okay, so if we tab, you can see the differences. So that looks good. So select that one and hide it. Hide it. Now select this one. Okay, so um, I'm going to bring that last object back because these are pretty much got the same material. So press Control and Z to bring it back. There we go. Um, I'm going to select this one, followed by this one. Press Control and L. And then link materials. Okay, then reselect that and hide it. Okay, so if we look, then we've got that in. Um, let's tap into edit mode. Um, okay. I'm sure this will be rubber, plastic, so choose these two and press L and choose plastic and assign. Okay. And then I'm pretty sure this is this is silver. And that will be silver. I would think so and then choose the silver and a, whoops and assign that okay so that's pretty much it for that but I'll just just double check that no I think that's wrong I'm gonna put that leave that in as some so reselect that and that and reassign it to metal black and assign. That's better. Now we're going to select this one. So tap into edit uh, object mode, select this one, then this one, and press Control and L and link the materials. Select this one and press H to hide it. So um, the only thing I'm going to do here is, let's have a look, see this is all really metal here so we don't need the, um, the plastic so I'm going to take that one out, but tap into it, highlight the drive shaft and, L, and we'll do that in, um, we'll do that in silver, just to give it a bit of bit more realistic look I thought I'd I thought I'd deleted that let's go back a stage I just want to make sure that I haven't So we'll choose this again. So that is selected. And what's this saying? Front drive shaft. Okay, that's fine. So we'll take this out now. Wrong one. Take the plastic one out. Um, Tab into edit mode, press L, and assign that to silver. Okay, cool. Albeit, I think what I'm going to do is press Z, wireframe, the range select this. I'm going to assign that to the metal black. And I'm going to do the same. For this so I'll press B highlight all of that and 
then assign that to metal. So press Z, go into solid, view, let's have a look. All right. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, that's cool. So, hide that one. So the next one is this one. <coughs> uh, give that a metallic silver. Where are we? Metallic. Metallic silver. Or metal silver. Let's have a look how that looks. Yeah, that's good. So hide that. So the next piece is um, is this piece. Now we want that to be the same as same materials as the other, but I've hidden them. Um, so what we'll do is try to find it. So it's chassis front rear drive. We want front drive. Front drive says that. So is that, yeah, okay. So we've got this one, and then this one, press Control and L, link materials, press this one and hide it, reselect this. So tab, press L, Okay, so what I'm going to do is go to the top view here. I'm going into um, wireframe. Now I'm going to select this. So B, I'm going to select this. To here. And assign that to the metal. Then I'm going to press Control and I to select the rest of it. Choose metal black and assign that. Press Z, let's go to solid and here to see the see the extent. Yeah, that's good. Got no rubber bits on there is that no. Okay. So now we want um so we want this piece and this piece and press Control and L and link the materials. Um, okay. So I'm going to select these and this. Press Control and L, L <coughs> link materials. So tab into edit mode, press L on that and assign that to metal black, press control and I and assign the rest to silver. So that's that done. So highlight that and press H to hide it. So I'm going to bring that one bit back. Okay, so these pieces I think Right, so if I press L on that, um, and that L, yeah, that should be rubber. So, or oh, plastic, sorry, plastic RO2. So it's that one. Okay, and this one down here, press L, press L, L on this, just on this one, and that should be plastic. Now we need, I've made a mistake there, so let's get the silver back, metallic silver. Not 
little silver. Um, and it would be this piece down here, L. And the top piece, L. And we'll assign that to the silver. Okay, so press tab. Now we've got our three different materials. So press, press that, H to hide it. So the next piece is this, um, that's a metal black. So what I'm gonna do is just um, control and L, click materials, and uh, click this again and make sure, tap into that, press A, everything, and assign it to this tab. So that's that. So select that and hide it. So what next? I think I'll move on to the side steps next. So this is, right, let's have a look where we are. Press that. Okay, so choose this. Um, I think what we need is a metallic chrome. Um, metallic chrome with a hunt, with a, a bit of roughness. Where are we metallic? Yeah, roughness point one there, that one. And also add in another one called metallic black. So metallic black, I think we'll look good on that. And that would be a metallic black. The roughness of point two. So we'll look metallic black. I don't think we need it to be a roughness of point 0.2. So what I'm gonna do is copy that. Um, I'm gonna rename this. Roughness point 0.1. Okay, and we'll go down here and change the roughness to point 0.1. So we've got a new material for that. Okay, so scroll back up. Okay, so if we have a look at this, um, looking at this piece here, so tab into edit mode. Um, scroll over, this is gonna be just a bit tricky. Okay, let's scroll in. Choose this one and I'll press the period key to get in close. Um, and what I want to do is press this one. Choose this, so press Alt and choose that. Press Alt and Shift and select that, that, that. And select all of these. Including that one. Then choose this one. Ah, strong Z, this one. This one, this one, this one. So with all those selected, um, press Control and I, and assign that to the metal black. And put this on this so we can see. 
and the rest should be in silver. That's not quite right. So <coughs> deselect that one. Deselect that one. No, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We go to metallic black and select select these. Add that one. and that one and press the sign that's better so when you look at it now there you go and I think So let's have a look at black. So click out of it, press, click on this so it's easy to view, press select and minimize the um, modifier, which is this. So this one, this one, and this one should be assigned to black as well. So assign that to black. Now, let's look at this view and see where we are. See, we've got this and this, right? So let's have a look at black again. Click out, I'll select. I'm gonna click this as well. Click, it doesn't look right. And this. And I'm gonna assign that to the black as well. Assign. And with a metal chrome, Deselect it. So it's just these two, isn't it? So we go to here and here and assign that to metal black. That's better. And here. So press Alt, select that, select that sign let's have a look at it now that's better okay that's cool that's what I was looking for I take this one and this is the one so um, right let's have a look so get this one what have we got here so this So this edge stop I think is a plastic black. Um, so I'm going to do plastic back with a roughness of one. Plastic black. Now a roughness of two. And then I think this one is as well. So click this, sorry this and then this. Press controller now and link materials. Okay, so we've got that. So this um, this here is a I'm gonna go for silver on that one. So where are we? Metal silver. And is there one on this side? Should be. 
that one there is also a metal silver. So this, this, control and L, link materials, there we go. Okay, that's looking good. So let's hide all these. So what else have we got? Not a lot now. We're getting towards the end. So we've not got a lot left here. This piece here is under the car, so it's a metallic black uh, with a roughness of 0.2, I would think. Yep, so that's that one. Hide that. So um, let's hide these now. H and H. Now this is um, this is under the bumper, so that should be a plastic black plastic um, roughness of point two to hide that. That's how I'm doing the bumpers, sorry, the number plates in a separate video. There's quite a lot of work in that. As you can see, I've already, I've already done bits to it. Um, so all we've got is this now. Um, right, okay. So we're going to put two materials in here, um, the first being metallic chrome, 0 0.1, metallic chrome, yeah, and then the other one is metallic black with a roughness of 0.2, metallic black, roughness of 0.2. So let's tab into, um, into edit mode. So tab, okay. So I think the pipe from here to here is a metallic black. So what I want to do is right up to here, I think from, so from here, right, let's zoom in. So up to here, so this line, this one here. So press Alt and select that loop. And then Alt and Shift and select that. Let's press Control and Plus. No, we only want, uh, let's go Control and Z, go that one there. Um, so Alt and select, just select all of these all the way up. To here. And we'll do the same. Let's press Control and Z there. So press Control and Plus there. Let's see if it's selected one that we don't want here. Yeah, we'll deselect that one. So we've got this one, this one, this one, not that, this, 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 control and plus, and then deselect this end one. Oh no, that's fine. Okay, and then we'll sign that to the metallic black. Okay, so that look, that's looking good. I haven't actually gone far enough on this. So, let's do select, uh, select that, that, and that. 
that and assign that and choose that and assign that excellent okay so that's looking that's looking good so let's move over to here um, I think we've got the same here that's a Let's press L over this, see what happens. So if I press L over that, that's a bracket, so I'm going to put that in metal black. So let's select this, press Ctrl and plus all the way down and let's have a look and this one as well so one more and assign that to metallic black and now we've got to go into here so if I press alt not there alt that's it and I press control and plus and again So let's hover over this and press L. Hmm. Not sure what's happening there. So let me see, let me hide this. Let me hide this. And so what I'm gonna do there, because I want this pipe, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this and this and this and hide it. Right. So now I'm going to select this, press Ctrl and plus, and again, and I'm going to assign that to black. Press Alt and H, bring everything back, there we go. So that's that done. So press H to hide it. So all we've got left is this, this badge and the um, number plates. So what I'll do is um, I'll do them in a separate video. So press Alt and H to bring back the rest of the vehicle. Okay, here we are. Um, these need putting back into place. I don't know why they're, why they're out. Because they're mirrored. Um, that's because there were two objects and I joined them. Um, so if I select these, and press P, tab into edit mode, Tap it, tap into edit mode, um, zoom up, press L, hover over this and press L. I don't know what's happening there. That's because it's mirrored, right? So if I look at the mirror modifier. So look at the mirror modifier again, take the z-axis out and this one. Look at the mirror modifier, take the z-axis out. And do the same for this. And this. And this. Okay, so that's the vehicle all textured apart from the number plates.
and the and the badge. So it's looking really good. So what is it? What's the this? So white plastic. I'm not sure about that white plastic. Um, I'll probably have another look at that and might change that. But anyway, thank you for watching. Um, I know this has been quite a quite a long one, but uh, there's still a bit more to, to do, um, particularly this one. Yeah, we'll, we'll have a look at that as well. Just wanna make this look as good as it can. Um, I might change these to a different colour. I'll have a look um, and we'll go from there. Okay, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye.